Deep Senses. I'm an Eonix and congratulations to Roy for the 100 Deep Senses show. Everyone, the information here. I'm Danny G and I want to congratulate to my good friend Roy. Hi, this is Eric from Polar and I want to congratulate to Roy on reaching episode 100 of Deep Senses. Hi, this is Evan Drill. This is Gary Hayden and I'd like to congratulate my good friend and buddy Roy on 100 episodes of Deep Senses. Hello, this is Gimmy Lenny from Brazil. I am really glad to be part of this journey. Congrats, Roy. Hi, this is Ian Dillon. Hi there, this is Basil Ogu. Hey, what's up, amigos? I'm Iso the Kid. Hi, this is Mono Joke, and I want to congratulate Roy on reaching episode 100 of Deep Senses Radio Show. Hey guys, Ilka Klein here, congratulating Roy on 100 episodes of Deep Senses. This is Seven Wells reaching out from Dan Under. Hey Roy, Cylinder here. Just wanted to get in touch and congratulate you on 100 Deep Senses shows. Hi, this is Daddy from the Nut. Hey Roy, it's Kane from the land down under here. Just wanted to say a massive congratulations on 100 episodes of Deep Senses Radio. That's an amazing milestone. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of the first 100 episodes and wishing you all the best for the future, mate. Congratulations. Hello everyone, this is Matteo Monero and I want to congratulate Roy on reaching episode 100 of Deep Senses. Big kudos, man. Ciao. Hi, this is Selim Gaston from Tunisia, and I want to congratulate Roy on reaching episode 100 of Deep Senses. Hi, this is Nick Muir. Just want to give a shout out to Roy Malloy and congratulate him on 100 episodes of his great show Deep Senses on Insomnia FS. Hi there, and welcome to Deep Senses. And not just any episode, this is Deep Senses, episode 100. Whoa, episode 100. My very first show was in April 2013. That's well over 8 years ago. I would have never thought it would be such a big part of my life. Going through all my tracks I used in those 8 years was really a trip down memory lane. Thinking back what happened in all those years, are my adventures on Ibiza, friendships that were made, friendships that were lost, parties I played at, if it's in a club or in my very own living room, memories of my late father, people who recognized me during Amsterdam dance event, and all my previous guests who became personal friends. I am sincerely proud of every single show I've put out into the universe. Through the years my taste in music has changed, but I always stayed true to myself and always did what felt right. And without getting into this too deep, but this is exactly what the world in its current situation needs. People who stay true to themselves and their own beliefs. And next to compliments, I also received critique. And I want to thank both parties for this. Getting compliments sincerely brightened up my day and will put an actual smile to my face. But to the people who criticize me, thank you. You have motivated me even more to perform and become a better version of myself and my music. And in conclusion, I want to thank all my fans who've been with me for all those years. But there are a few people who are extra special. For always being there for me. For always listening and sharing my show. And for simply being part of my life. And that's Danny Harvelach, Vincent Milovito, Paco Munoz, Diana Abramenko, Juan Hernandez, Caroline Claver, Roman Garcia, Miraya Krohn, Mark Markovic, Stevie Hunter, Melanie Maximus, Dan Southward, James Skate, and last but certainly not least, as you are literally my number one fan, the man from Down Under, 
who pretty much plays my mixes non-stop and that is Lee Walsh from Melbourne. Thank you all for being with me during all those years. So right now for the next five hours it is me Roy Malloy and you are listening to Deep Senses episode 100. Enjoy! What you are seeing and hearing right now is nothing but a dream. You're dreaming right now in this moment. You're dreaming with the brain awake. Dreaming is the main function of the mind, and the mind dreams 24 hours a day. It dreams when the brain is awake, and it also dreams when the brain is asleep. The difference is that when the brain is awake, there is a material frame that makes us perceive things in a linear way. When we go to sleep, we do not have the frame, and the dream has the tendency to change constantly. Humans are dreaming all the time. Before we were born, the humans before us created a big outside dream that we will call society's dream, or the dream of the planet. The dream of the planet is the collective dream of billions of smaller personal dreams, which together create a dream of a family, a dream of a community, a dream of a city, a dream of a country, and finally, a dream of the whole humanity. The dream of the planet includes all of society's rules, its beliefs, its laws, its religions, its different cultures and ways to be, its governments, schools, social events and holidays. We are born with the capacity to learn how to dream, and the humans who live before us teach us how to dream the way society dreams. The outside dream has so many rules that when a new human is born, we hook the child's attention and introduce these rules into his or her mind. The outside dream uses mom and dad, the schools and religion to teach us how to dream. Attention is the ability we have to discriminate and to focus only on that which we want to perceive. We can perceive millions of things simultaneously, but using our attention, we can hold whatever we want to perceive in the foreground of our mind. The adults around us hooked our attention and put information into our minds through repetition. That is the way we learned everything we know. By using our attention, we learned a whole reality, a whole dream. We learned how to behave in society, what to believe and what not to believe, what is acceptable and what is not acceptable, what is good and what is bad, what is beautiful and what is ugly, what is right and what is wrong. It was all there already. All that knowledge, all those rules and concepts about how to behave in the world. When you were in school, you sat in a little chair and put your attention on what the teacher was teaching you. When you went to church, you put your attention on what the priest or minister was telling you. It is the same dynamic with mom and dad, brothers and sisters. They were all trying to hook your attention. We also learn to hook the attention of other humans and we develop a need for attention which can become very competitive. Children compete for the attention of their parents, their teachers, their friends. Look at me, look what I'm doing, hey, I'm here. The need for attention becomes very strong and continues into adulthood. The outside dream hooks our attention and teaches us what to believe, beginning with the language that we speak. Language is the code for understanding and communication between humans. Every letter, every word in each language is an agreement. Once we understand the code, our attention is hooked and the energy is transferred from one person to another. It was not your choice to speak English. You didn't choose your religion or your moral values. They were already there before you were born. We never had the opportunity to choose what to believe or what not to believe. We never chose even the smallest of these agreements. We didn't even choose our own name. As children, 
we didn't have the opportunity to choose our beliefs. But we agreed with the information that was passed to us from the dream of the planet via other humans. The only way to store information is by agreement. The outside dream may hook our attention, but if we don't agree, we don't store that information. As soon as we agree, we believe it. And this is called faith. To have faith is to believe unconditionally.
like to share with you the, the yogic concept of space. Our inner space and outer space. We live in a vast universe. If we took the universe to be the size of our planet Earth, then our planet Earth would be about a billionth the size of a pinhead. Um, by the way, pinhead is about a millionth the size of a grain of sand. In any case, the, the, the idea is that it's really, really, really small. I think that gives us some idea of the size of our universe. In a materialist world of an arbitrary, uh, mechanistic, unfeeling universe, there's every reason to feel alienated, lonely, fearful and depressed. And if we don't feel it ourselves, we all too often see it in others and in the malaise of our society. Materialism doesn't engender optimism people or society. On the other hand, in a blissfully conscious universe, there's every reason to feel connected to people and to the world, to feel loved, hopeful and happy and at peace with oneself and others, which we've been expected to believe appeared out of nothing. nothing. That's actually like expecting us to believe that our phones and laptops just fell into place without anyone designing them or putting them together. What if the possibility of consciousness is a higher reality? Deep Senses Just as your own consciousness is 
is the essence of your own mind. Cosmic consciousness is the essence of the entire universe. It exists within everything. An all-pervading, blissful awareness in everybody and everything.
You're listening to Deep Senses with Roy Malloy.
Senses with Roy Malloy.
Senses with Roy Malloy.
time for another shout out. On this very day, September 25, one of my biggest fans is celebrating his birthday. And I don't want this to happen without saying a few words. When I was traveling in the United States and you noticed I was in Las Vegas, you offered to meet up, have a few drinks and show me some of the best spots in Vegas. I will never forget that and I truly hope one day we can do it again. Roman Garcia, my dear friend, happy birthday amigo. I hope you keep listening to Deep Senses and that you will have a fantastic day. Let's get back to the music. Enjoy.
mix with Roy Malloy.
Keep in the Groove with Roy Malloy.
You are in the mix with Roy Malloy.
deep senses.
stimulate your senses with Roy Malloy. Thank you.
Here's another shout out for a very close friend of mine from the land down under. Always sharing my music, always interested and always friendly. You are at the top of my list if I ever get to visit Australia again. But until then, our music and friendship will connect us. Big ups to Tim Langer from Melbourne. Let's get back to the music. Enjoy!
Avoid the 
deep senses. For too long you were running on home And it's wrong but it works so And you use works to build your ways It's not strong but it works so Oh
time for another shout out. This one goes out to a very close friend of mine. The day this show will air, September 25, is his birthday. Hailing from England, but residing in the Netherlands, which I'm thankful for. So we get to meet up, hang out, and do crazy shit together. This one's for James Skade. Happy birthday, my friend. Here's to our friendship. So, let's get back to the music. Enjoy.
in the groove with Roy Malloy.
with Roy Malloy.
deep senses.
purpose of the trucking horn. Jesus saves Christ in a chicken basket. Uh, holy shit, tranquility. Holy mother of fuck. So we've come to the end of this epic journey. Again, this was a trip down memory lane. I put in a lot of hours, a lot of effort and a lot of love into this special 5 hour mix. Thank you for taking this trip alongside with me. And not just the last 5 hours, I'm talking about the last 8 years. It felt like this mix was a grand finale and when I was recording this set Right after I mixed in the last track, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was getting a little bit emotional, but this is by far the ending. Next month, we're back with our standard setup. And just to keep the juices flowing, I reeled in another fantastic superstar. I feel grateful for being able to share my music with you guys. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Hope to see you all next month. Same time, same place, this is me, Roy Malloy, saying goodbye. Visit us online at facebook.com forward slash deep senses radio. You've been listening to Insomnia FM.